Hey there, pal. No hard feelings about our little disagreement earlier, right? My new powers are crazy. I just moved this whole island directly over New Carcinia. Looks like Trash Day came early. Pretty cool, right? Firth, I really need that shell. Titan's hurt bad. I'll tell you who's hurt bad. The economy. That's who. With Roland gone and Scuttle poured out of commission, our whole city's gonna completely collapse. And not only that, folks are starting to say the trash we've been using is physically harmful to us. Who would have thought? But it's all gonna be okay. Now that I'm the god of this ocean, I've got a super genius three-step plan to save everyone. Step one, sink Trash Island onto New Carcinia, eliminating the whole concept of Trash Day. A permanent economic boom! What's better than that? You're going to cover this city in trash? Can we just talk about this? I just need to borrow the world for Step a minute! Step two, use that trash to usher New Carcinia into a second golden age. You'll see technology advance beyond your wildest dreams. You're not listening to me. And step three. With all that new tech, we'll form a plan to make New Carcinia's economy more sustainable. We ought to be able to start using 20% less trash within the next 200 tides or so. You thought I forgot about that part, didn't you? But I'm a caring guy. If you dump more trash on the reef, aren't they just going to get gonked faster? And... And, and I still need to save Chiton! So give me that shell! I'm not going to let you do this! That's the cool part about being a god. I don't need you to let me do anything. It's just gonna happen. But here you are, resorting to physical violence to take down an honest business crap. No need to get angry, pal. You're only gonna get yourself hurt. I'm not! I... I am getting angry, aren't I? I think maybe... I've been angry the whole time. Ever since I left the tide pool, I never wanted to be. Everyone else seems angry all the time. I didn't want to be like that, but I can't help it. Not when people like you always get everything you want and other people get hurt for it. It's not fair. And I'm really strong now, strong enough to stop you from making things worse. You really are quite white, you know? If you're gonna fight me, quit the sob story and just do it. I've got an empire to build here. Come on, do it! Hit me! Don't be a coward! This 
This is stupid, pal! I'm ah. way too strong! Don't put that on! I 
think I get what Kite meant now. Krill, hold on. Let's talk about this like adults. If I'm gonna be angry, I might as well use it for something good. So that maybe, one day, other people won't have to fight like me. And what better way to start than to beat up a selfish, greedy, muscle, shocker, like... word comes to mind when you think of the earth this world is resilient but not endlessly so 
As this earth spins ever faster towards its uncertain future, all will face that future in their own way. Some will fight for the world they dream of, blade in hand. Some will spend their whole lives saving others from falling through the cracks. And others still will never rest in one place for long. As this fragile world begins to fracture, no matter how large or small, the one thing no creature can afford is complacency. But though history talks of warriors and heroes, and great mighty crabs that shook the world, it is the thankless deeds that shall ever make that world worth fighting for. Grease and loving eyes are 